before the video starts. Y'all should just go grab this now. Hey beauties, it is your girl Beauty Like Me. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to see you guys. As you can tell, I'm a bit under the weather. Um, I've been just dealing with this whole weather change here in Ohio and it is kicking my butt, okay? When I say kicking my butt, I've been having terrible sinus headaches and it seems like nothing is really helping. Um, but I feel like I'm kind of at the tidbit end of it. It's been going on for about a week now. So finally I have some energy and I can stay up to record, so today's video is going to be a little haul from fashion nova it's going to feature some of the items that i grabbed for the upcoming season um which we're actually kind of already in which is fall i'm really excited to show you guys some of these pieces because i really wanted to show you guys how i paired them together i also did grab a couple of essential items that i felt like were pretty good for fall and winter um but we'll go through that if you have not done so yet already make sure you subscribe to my channel and click those notification bells so you know whenever it is that i post make sure you drop a comment down below and let me know what was your favorite item or any questions that you guys may have and if you really did enjoy the video make sure you click for a thumbs up so if you're interested to see some of the items that i grabbed for this upcoming season make sure you guys keep watching <music> So the first item that I'm going to get into are going to be these beautiful mustard yellow vibrant jeans. These are called the Mystery Soft Extreme Bell Bottom Jeans. I got them in a size 1X. They are some of my favorite jeans that I actually get from Fashion Nova. Usually whenever they drop a color in these, I just go ahead and I grab them because they fit so nicely. Now, you guys already know I'm a tall girl. I'm 5'8". So I like my stuff to drag on the ground. And these jeans... They definitely drag on the ground. These stretch on these are absolutely fantastic. Um, this is that material that I always tend to go with. The material includes like a tinsel material, T-E-N-T-E-O. So whenever I see that tinsel material, I always try and grab something in it because I know that it's going to be pretty stretchy and it's going to give me like that nice cup on my butt. So whenever they do drop a pair of these jeans, I typically will grab them. So I got these in a size 1X. It's my go-to. They are extremely stretchy and they're very, very, very soft, actually. Um, the one thing that I really do like is how high-waisted it is. Um, if I could change one thing with the plus size, it would be how long the crotch actually is. I would just have the inseam come up just a smidge more so it doesn't give you, like, that longer crotchy look. I don't like that. Um, however, I do really like the jeans. And the other thing that I would change about it is I would give it some um, functional belt loops on here. Now, it does have some pockets on the back. They are functional. There are no pockets on the front. I'm okay with that. But I really would like the functional belt loop, so because I think a belt with these on certain occasions would be absolutely adorable. It has like the distressed knees look on both the legs. And then the bottom of the pant is just a little bit ragged. I really do like it. Um, and it's definitely an extreme bell bottom. These are probably one of my absolute favorite pair of pants at Fashion Nova could have come out with to be honest with you they did have these bell bottom jeans that did have functional pockets and when they sold out they sold out they never brought them back and I was so sad I even like still have the notifications on to notify me whenever it's back in stock and they've been out for what probably about four years <laughs> but these definitely come next best if ever I would be interested in grabbing a bell bottom jean then it would definitely be these and I highly recommend um, in the video, I ended up pairing it with a top that I ended up ordering at the same time. And it's just going to be this blue distress top here. It is called the Spiritual Eye Distress Tee. It runs very big, and I knew that it ran big looking at the model. So I did get it in a size small, and it was still pretty large on me. I ended up tying it off to the side a bit just to make it a little bit more feminine. Now, the only reason why I ended up wearing this together because this was not my intention to actually wear it together. One, I cannot find the denim top that I wanted to wear with these jeans to show you guys. It was so cute. It was like a cropped. It was a look, okay? But I couldn't find that denim top. When I was actually going through the box to look at all the items, I just noticed that the yellow and the yellow, I said, forget it. Let me put this together. I even went as far as pairing it with some burgundy flats. Now, before you say anything, I don't care what nobody has to say, okay? I wear what I want to wear. 
I wear what I feel comfortable in. I wear what I think is cute. And I know people talk about those flats so bad, but babes, I don't have time to always wear heels. And certain stuff I don't want to wear sneakers with. So it's like a nice, happy medium. So if you're another girl like me and you like wearing flats, wear your flats, sis. Don't worry about what people have to say. It's not even y'all feet. If you don't like flats, then don't wear flats. And if you're a man who don't like seeing a woman in flats, then make sure you don't buy your woman flats. But this woman here, I'm definitely wearing me some flats if I feel like it. And to be honest, anytime I wear any of these bell-bottom pants, you better believe I have on flats underneath it. Because like I said, one, I like it to drag. And two, I want to be comfortable. So, rant over. The holes aren't really distressed. It's just reminding me more like a mothball attack or a moth attack. I did roll up the sleeves. Usually whenever I wear a graphic t-shirt, I like to roll up the sleeves, especially if it's giving me like longer sleeve look. I feel like rolling up the sleeves, it just adds like a little bit more fashion sense to it. So granted, this was not the look that I was supposed to show you guys, um, but it's the look that we're gonna get. Overall, I do highly recommend these two items. Um, definitely something that you could wear throughout the fall, maybe throw like a little denim jacket over the top, however you may see fit, but I like them. The next item that we're gonna talk about is this t-shirt dress here thingy that we got going on it is called the nothing like tunic top just kidding this isn't even a dress it's a top something told me that it was quite short but i just ran with it you know when i seen it on the model i said man it's gonna be quite quite short on me i didn't even put shorts on underneath it but i knew when i seen it that i was gonna wear like some taller boots so it is in a size 1x obviously in the color green i thought that this was actually a dress um, I don't know why I thought that. I mean, I guess I do know why I thought that, but I ended up wearing it as a dress anyways. I really did like it, surprisingly. The only thing I didn't like about it was it was so short, which obviously makes sense since it's a top and not a dress. The material is very light. It's true t-shirt fashion. I really did like it. I thought it was cute. I paired it with some white, um, boots, those slouchy boots that I had on. I got those from Eagle Shoes. And then the bag is from Aldo. But I know that they have those boots on Fashion Nova's website because they have them in the same blue color that I have. And I got those from Eagle Shoes too. I ended up pairing them together. This was, to me, this is a nice, fun girls night. Let's go get drinks or maybe pair it with a faux leather blazer. You could even do like a denim jacket, like an oversized denim jacket would be really hot with this. But I really did think that this was um, a dress. If I had gone up a size or two, I wouldn't have been mad at all. Um, because hopefully it would have gave me a little bit more length, which again, I felt like it was pretty short. But I really, really actually wanted to tie it all to the side, like put a knot in the side of the dress. So it kind of went up like so like this. And and obviously it was just a bit too short for me to do that. I would have had to put on shorts underneath it, which to be honest, denim shorts, um, like some distress, really short denim shorts probably wouldn't look bad with it at all. However, um, it was too short for me to try and do it as in a dress. So, I really did like this top, though. I didn't expect to like it. I seen this on somebody's YouTube channel, and when I seen her rocking it, I said, oh, I need me a t-shirt dress, too. It does really scream fall apparel, especially the colors, which is why I was like, yeah, let me go ahead and grab it. Now, had I not paired this with the white boots, I could have also done, um, honestly, almost any color. Um, you could do black with, like, a black faux leather jacket do like a cognac color with a bag to match it and just do both gold accessories you can even do the green the green will be a lot though or i think that would be a lot of green if you did all that green i can't honestly think of a way to kind of tone down the green um had you wore like green boots with this unless you wore this a top <laughs> you wear like some white pants and then maybe some green knee high boots with like a green bag that'd be cute but Overall, I really did like it. It was pretty cheap. I can't remember how much it cost. It was something I really did like. Just very surprised to find out or to discover that it's actually a top and not a dress. But this is something, um, the material of it, it doesn't stretch. It doesn't really stretch. It's true t-shirt fashion, which is why I did get a size 1X. But again, I would not be mad if I had gotten a 2 or a 3X. It still would have been a nice oversized look, um, especially with that having no stretch at all. I really did enjoy this, so next item so the next item that i ended up grabbing is probably my top three of my favorite looks that i had in the entire haul um it is going to be a set now it is a short set but i think the easiest way to make any short or summery item is to just add boots this is actually the summer breeze short set it's in like this terracotta color which i think is very fallish it is in a size extra large and 
it is kind of big. It's not like too big. It does run pretty large, to be honest. I feel like I could have sized down to an extra large and still been just as comfortable with it. The size itself did come with these shorts here. Um, they're pretty light. They're short, but they're shorts. They are very stretchy and they do have a cinched um, elastic waistband with a very functional drawstring. Now, drawstrings to me are going to be make or breaks for a lot of items. If it has a drawstring, if it doesn't have a drawstring, then usually it's a no for me because I need something that I know is going to sit up really nice on my waist. It's definitely not ribbed. It just has like a natural crinkly look to it, which I really do like. Kind of giving me that rugged fall vibe. Now, the top is definitely oversized. Like you see in the video it is it's huge but i loved it the top itself i ended up wearing it unbuttoned i paired it with this off-white high neck bodysuit that i had from forever 21 i think pairing those together i absolutely love the way that this turned out um i'm actually going to wear this set today is thursday i'm actually going to wear this set to dinner on saturday night so it was so cute i loved every single thing about it it definitely screams fall. If I could change anything about the way that I wore it, I would have liked boots that were much taller than the um, ankle booties, than the mid-calf booties. I would like something that probably came up to my knees at least. I think it would help make it look a little bit more fallish. Um, but since it's early September, we still got time to go for that. I didn't end up wearing a button at all. Um, I like the way it looked unbuttoned. I don't really like the buttons, to be honest, now that I look at them. Um, they're just like this brown, painted, marbleish color. Uh, not a fan, but it doesn't matter because I was a fan of the entire look overall. You know, I did not end up using the buttons, so it really didn't matter to me. A good color combo for this to think about. You don't want to do too many browns, I would say that, because I feel like it'll take away or it'll make the outfit die down a bit. Um, and you don't want it to fade into the background. A good color combo with this. Still wear the same top that I paired with these short sets and maybe paired it with my olive green boots um, that I got from Target. Maybe that would have been a look with the olive green bag. That color combo would have been really nice. Um, again, the material is very light. I absolutely adore this set. I'm telling you, it is def, it's def my favorite. I cannot wait to wear this out, okay? I feel like it doesn't do too much. I love the fact the top is longer in the back. Um, and with the top being so oversized, it's longer in the back. So you don't have to worry about standing up or sitting down and somebody seeing a piece of cheek. That's not going to happen because the top is just that big. Um, and I'm totally okay with that. And I'm totally okay with that because that's what I want. But this is a look, okay? I absolutely love this look and I cannot wait to wear it out. It's definitely my top three. Get it. The next item that I ended up getting or the next item that I ended up trying on were these houndstooth pants. Now, the girls that get it, get it. Whenever I see houndstooth, I think of Clueless. We should not go winter season without having something houndstooth in your closet. Um, you can even see in the background there, houndstooth is a look. So these pair of pants are actually called the Got It Stack Pants. I ended up getting them in the size 1X. These pants are extremely, extremely stretchy. It's like a nice soft, it's like a nice soft material. There's like this slit on the inside of the pant to kind of give it like a nice flare look. So it overlays really well with whatever shoes you wear. And then there's going to be some ruching on the side. And I guess this little bit of ruching is what made them call it the stack pants. I don't really think it's stacked. Um, you could say cinched. It's not really the typical stack pants that I'm used to. The pants themselves are very soft, extremely, extremely light. I ended up pairing these pants with a bodysuit that I had from Amazon. And I love the way it turned out, actually. The only thing I didn't really care for um, were the boots that I ended up wearing with it. I don't know if it's just the boots themselves. I specifically chose them again. I wasn't feeling well when I put these outfits together, except that last one was a win. But <laughs> I don't know if it's just because I wasn't feeling well or what. But the boots that I ended up grabbing, um, I know I chose them specifically because they're pointed toes. I don't know what it was about it, but I just didn't like the way that the boots looked with it. But I really did like the pants, however. They have a cinch waist. They have a very much functional drawstring. And be careful because um, on multiple occasions did I accidentally pull the drawstring out. Um, so it'll probably do benefit or justice to have like some knots tied at the end of it here. But the overall look to me was definitely a look. So I ended up pairing it with a car locker fill bag, which happens to be Hans Tooth. I thought it came out really cute together. It definitely gave me brunch vibes. The only thing that I would have added looking back at the video, I probably would have did like a little beret to make it a little bit more spicy. I think that that would have been really adorable. 
but overall i really do like the pants they're very 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 soft again these are true legging fashion um and they're the nice soft stretchy legging the one thing that i would change if i could change anything at all i know it doesn't look this way on camera but i would make the white in here just a bit brighter it's a little bit off white to me and i know it's probably hard to tell on camera but in person it's definitely a bit off but that's why i paired it with that bag because my other houndsu bags are true black and white fashion Another thing that I honestly would have added looking back at the video, I would have added probably a nice thick gold chunky bangle um, just to put draw a little bit more attention to my arms with the subtle blackness. I think that that would have probably put the outfit together a bit more. But I really do like the pants. They're very soft. It's definitely something that I can't wait to wear this winter. Now this next look that I ended up wearing, I am going to tell everybody that this is an absolute must for your winter closet half, okay? This is a set. This is a paparazzi legging set. Um, I got it in the color mocha. I did get it in a size 1X. I ended up wearing it with the same off-white bag and heel that I had wore with the orange short set. I was pleasantly surprised on how well it looked. And when I ended up wearing the items together, they were literally sitting right there and I was ready to get in the bed. So I just grabbed them, I put them on and... Voila, this made it to my top three looks. The top is meant to run oversized, and it's definitely oversized. Again, I got this in a size 1X. I ended up reordering it, and I got it in a size extra large. For my next fashion overhaul video, I'll make sure I show you guys the size extra large, which I do think fit way better than this 1X did. When I ended up wearing it in the video, you can see I just kind of tucked it in on the side here, and it just... I don't know, like it made it more feminine to me and less baggy. Now, again, uh, the top is meant to be oversized, but it is very, very, very stretchy, okay? If I had to say how stretchy it was, it's very stretchy, okay? To be real with you, even when trying on the pants in the size extra large, I definitely could have sized down and grabbed a large and been just fine, okay? The pants themselves are just as stretchy as the top is. I love the color of it. The material is a very light material. Um, when you hold it up to light, it's, it's not see-through, which is something we typically tend to worry about when it comes to lighter colors like mocha, ivory, and such. But I don't think that'll be a concern. The length of it is just right. You guys know how I feel about high waters and nowhere does this set give me high water vibes. In the video for sure, I know that I untucked it just so you guys could see truly how big the top was. Um, and I'm not going to say that I hated it, to be honest. I still thought it was a good look with the heels and the bag. But be mindful. Be very mindful. Just because I wore this with heels and a bag in the video does not mean that that's how I'm going to wear it in real life. And the reason why I said you guys should get this set and why I strongly recommend it is because of versatility that's offered behind this set. I feel like there are so many different looks you can do with this one set. You could wear heels with it like I did. You can wear some boots with it. You could wear some lace-up type sandals with it in a bag. You could rock sneakers with it. It doesn't matter. This set offers so much versatility. When I grabbed it, it was like 15 bucks on sale. So it's something I strongly recommend that you get. You have those nice big bags and long sleeves. Throw this with the cardigan, throw it with some Uggs, whatever the case may be. But there is so much versatility offered in this set alone. You can wear this to date night. You can wear this to family night. You can wear this around the house to chill. You can wear this to run errands. There's just so much versatility that comes with this set, okay? I strongly recommend it. I'm very surprised. Like I said, when I first opened it and I tried it on and I seen just how big the top was, I'm like, mm, I'm not going to like this. But very surprisingly, this made it into my top three looks. The next item that I ended up trying on when I decided to include this in the video, honestly, well, grab these pants just so I could personally have them. Jeans are something with Fashion Nova that everybody is always pretty iffy about. And I'm actually considering doing a jean haul. I think that maybe a jean look look would be pretty helpful. Um, but I ended up including these simply because I wanted you guys to see how they looked. So these are the classic highway skinny pants, color khaki, and this is a size 15. Now, when it is time for me to go and shop, I've said before numerous times over and over, I'll always look to see what the material of the item is made of. There are certain contents, there are certain percentages that I go to look for, and it gives me like a way to eyeball to see what size that I may get. And if you guys remember not too long ago, those Mystery Solve Extreme Bell Bottom Jeans, those were made with that tinsel material. This is that same tinsel material. True enough, I did get the Mystery Solve in the size 1X, but again, it was simply because I like the extra length the 1X provided opposed to the 15. But these are size 15, and very surprisingly, they do fit. 
they do have some pretty good stretch to them there's a part in the video where I do go to pinch the pan leg to just show you guys that I don't really have that much more room to give but overall they are very stretchy and they do look painted on okay I do like the jeans but I don't like the color um in person it's not as I guess it is true khaki I guess I was just looking for something like a little bit more smoother or uniform in color and I feel like it's kind of thready a bit I don't know like it's washed out Maybe that's a good verbiage. I don't know. It's something about the color of it that I do not absolutely love, which is pretty disappointing, to be honest. Now, I do have these jeans already in the color white. The white ones are extremely soft. I will say these are not as soft as the white ones. They're a bit more stiffer. I don't know if the content material is different, but as much as I do talk about me despising high waters, these definitely are high waters, okay? <laughs> um, they really stop right at the bottom of my ankle. Now, I didn't really care because most times they're not. When I wear straight leg pants, I don't mind showing a bit of ankle or things that are meant to be flowy. Those are the things that I really want to drag on the ground. I ended up pairing it with a very familiar blouse to you guys. It is actually a blouse that I grabbed from Pretty Little Thing, which is included in one of my previous hauls. I just tied it up together. Um, purely convenience, to be honest. And then seeing those boots right back there on the shelf, they're that snake skin print, and they just don't happen to be those two colors. So I said, mm, let me just wear these shoes with this bag, this look here. The overall look is cool. That would be an outfit that I'll wear maybe to go out run errands or something. The jeans do come with functional back pockets and functional belt loops, which again is something you guys know that I really do look for. However, the front pants leg are not functional, but I don't really care about that. Comparing Mr. Size to the Plus Size, the one thing that I would definitely say is the crotch makes a big difference. The way that the inseam hits like the crotch area is something that I really do appreciate with these jeans. Overall, the jeans are okay. Um, again, the color isn't really my vibe. To be honest with you, if they were just as stretchy as the mustard yellow ones, then I would probably think a little bit more passionately about them. But since they're not, meh, they're all right. The next look is actually an entire Fashion Nova look. The shoes, the top, the bottoms, all Fashion Nova. So I'm pretty excited. I always wanted a pair of cargo uh, camouflage pants. I haven't had any since I was a kid, just because I haven't been able to find any that fit. And I ended up coming across these babies. Now, these are going to be the Good Vibe Cargo Joggers. They're in a size extra large. I ended up going to a young lady's YouTube. And she was reviewing um, plus size cargo pants from Fashion Nova. And these happened to be some of the pants that she mentioned. And she was telling me just how stretchy everything was. And she was doing, you know, doing what I, she's doing what I like to see. You know, she was pulling the material, showing me exactly how much gear they had. So, um, when she pulled these, I would have honestly grabbed a size one next just so they were a little bit bigger. But I'm not totally upset that I got an extra large instead. The material is 97% cotton, 3% spandex. I did not memorize that, the tag is right here. But <laughs> the material is a nice, soft, it's kind of, I don't even want to say it's soft. It's like a starchy or firmer material, but it does have some stretch to it, as you can see when I put the pants on. The one thing that I really didn't like as far as the overall sizing of it was, was that the waist was so big, so it had that gap in the back. And I don't really think that I would wear a belt with this, even though it does have belt loops that I know I, you know, I keep hollering about functional belt loops. I don't think that I would even end up pairing a belt with this. It definitely is classic camo vibes. It does have some of uh, the cargo pad pockets here on the side. It actually has a double pocket in there, functional. And then the bottom of the pant leg, because you won't be able to tell in the video, it's actually cinched. Like, it's a, it's a true jogger. Um, the pants were pretty easy to get on, really easy to take off. I really did like the look of the pants. The one thing that I was kind of on the fence about was this good vibes tag. However, this is actually something that's removable. So I take it on and off in the video. Um, and to be honest, once I, put the, once I put the entire look together, it really didn't make me a difference looking at it. So truly, I'm very grateful that I ended up getting them and actually found a pair of cargo pants that I could fit. And I ended up pairing them with this uh, Carla One Shoulder Bodysuit. I have this bodysuit from when I was a bit bigger. And it was in a size 1X. It fit obviously perfect at the time, but I've lost a pretty good amount of weight, even though recently I have gained weight back, okay? And I'm going to have to do a vlog so y'all can see, like, what's going on, but that's another story for another day. But I ended up pairing it with this Carla One Suit bodysuit. Now, what I was saying was 
the one x fit pretty good then since i have lost so much weight in the instagram i decided to grab a size large and i'm very grateful that i did grab a size large the large fit just right it is very 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 stretchy the only thing that i'm always pretty leery about when it does come to bodysuits um are the crotch area however it is a thong bottom i ended up showing in the video i didn't show the thong part but i did pull it down a little bit at the top of the pants so it was about from here to here you could see that it was the thong backing the one thing that i noticed when i was trying to pants on or when i was trying this outfit on was that there's a hole in the top i don't know if the hole was there when i took it out the package or not to be real with you it's okay nothing a little needle and thread can't fix and to be real with you this top is something that i would consider part of my winter essentials from fashion nova now it is something that is versatile you could dress it up you could dress it down there's so many different things you can wear with it you can even throw a jacket on over it but this is definitely something anything that's long sleeve most times they're not anything that's long sleeve and fitted those are something that i would consider essential as long as it's not printed if it were printed it would be a different story but this is something that you can get multiple uses out of or multiple wears out of with one simple look so this is something i would consider or i would recommend for everyone to grab I do have it in other colors, but they're in the size one X's. So like I mentioned before, more than likely, I'll just go back and see if I can get the, the white color and maybe even a gray. But this is definitely something I would recommend. Nice and stretchy. It's kind of transparent. Maybe if I had it in white, it would be a more of an issue. Um, but since it's black, it's okay. What I'll actually do is I'll get white and then I'll try on the white for you guys and we'll see how big of a difference we notice between the transparency versus the full, fullness of it. I'm back sorry with the look i ended up pairing them with uh this booty that i got from fashion nova as well this is called the wait a little bit longer booty now i did get this in a size 11 i am a true 10 wide i do have pretty wide feet i'm a size 10 but i do have pretty wide feet so typically i always size up and i get 11 and plus in my heels i like to have a little bit of extra room so it's not uncomfortable not too tight not too anything and these shoes definitely do it for me now, um, I actually had these shoes since last season, but I know for sure that they have them now because I just grabbed with this actual purchase. I grabbed the burgundy ones that I was so excited about. I tried on the burgundy boots with it at first, and I hated the way it looked, to be honest. So I'll just have to save the burgundy ones whenever it's more like a more appropriate time in the wear them. But I didn't like the way it looked here. I really did like the overall look with it with the camel pants. You already have the army look. You got like the army-ish type boots with the laces. So I felt like the it really did pull the look together. So I did the exact same look, to be honest. Um, I just switched out the pants. And instead of the camo pants, I wore the Good Vibes Always denim joggers. And I got these in a size extra large. And baby, I love these pants, okay? When I say love these, I love these. They are so stretchy and soft. Like when I put them on, I just put them on. Like it looks really good. It has the exact same features with the camo pants. Still the functional pockets. Still the functional waistband here. Or still the functional belt loops here. Has the camo pockets on the side. Bottom of it is true jogger fashion. Also has the same keychain here. Um, I will say the color, this is like the denim color that I aspire to have in all my jeans. It's like so versatile. It's so stretchy. Um, the material, this one is 97% cotton, 3% spandex. I don't know what it is, but these are definitely way more stretchier than the camel ones. I even grabbed the color black and the exact same thing. And the black ones did not fit at all. The black ones literally stopped mid-thigh and will not go any higher. So I don't know where the big discrepancy in the sizing and the material is, but for some reason, the black ones just didn't fit. And the blue denim ones were a much better fit than the camo ones were. Um, I ended up wearing it with the exact same thing. To be honest, I don't like the way this looks. Um, looking back at the video, I wore it for the sake of having my 10 looks that I like to have in each haul. However, I'm going to definitely rewear these videos on the next Fashion Nova haul. Um, as mentioned um, not too long ago, I said I was thinking about getting the white Carla top. I think I am going to actually get it, wear it with these pants utilize the button loops here and maybe do like a denim belt with either some booties or um even some sandals but we're definitely going to wear these again next fall because i kind of feel like this look was a little bit disappointing like it just didn't go i don't know if i should have did different shoes i don't know what it was i don't know if it was just me being lazy and anxious or what but 
don't worry i'll fix it next video so one thing to note about me is um i'm not really a jumpsuit person i will wear a bodysuit but i will not wear a full leg jumpsuit just because it just it never really seemed to go well with me i don't know what it is but there's always like that gap if this were my back area right and it should fall against my natural arch for some reason it's still sticking straight up so i don't know what it is but i typically don't go for jumpsuit however i decided i wanted to give it a chance the reason why I was led to give it a chance is because um, this is from the Fashion Nova Snatch Collection. When their Snatch Collection first came out, I snatched everything off the site that I could in my size. Because I grabbed a few things and I absolutely fell in love with the way everything fit. The softness, the material, how it just kind of goes one place everywhere. So I fell in love with the Snatch Collection, right? So this is actually the Sabrina Snatch Jumpsuit in a size extra large. I have this from last season in the color ivory. Goes on and off with no issues whatsoever. I noticed when touching the material, this year's snatch items are stiffer than last year's were. It's not given snatched at all. I don't know what made them switch up the formula, but if it's not broke, don't fix it. And they definitely broke the snatch collection. Whatever little mess that they did with this new snatch collection is not a win at all. I can't show you guys a full video of me trying it on because it broke. In order for me to get a decent fit that's similar to the Snatch Collection from last year, I would probably need a 2X to be real with you. That's just how big of a difference in sizing that it is from one year to the next. Like the material is drastically different. The bottom of the jumpsuit ended up ripping. Jumpsuits or any items with zippers you have to be very careful with. The trick to putting on jumpsuits with zippers is when you go to put this, if the zipper is in the front, when you go to pull this zipper up, you want to make sure you pull towards the direction of the zipper. That way all the material in the back is stretched and you're not forcing a stretch on the zipper. So I know how to get in and out of stuff with zippers. It's, it's, it's not that. It's just it's just too small. I don't know what made them change the material. The reason why I wanted to include this, I needed this jumpsuit for the next look that I ended up doing. So because it did rip and I did need like a black long sleeve something, I ended up grabbing that same Carla one shoulder bodysuit. I ended up grabbing that and I paired it with a pair of the snatch leggings from last season to give you like a jumpsuit illusion look or, you know, like more of a uniform. These are the snatch leggings from last year. You see how they dancing? Obviously I'm moving it, but you see how they dancing around? See how it's not? These leggings are a size large. This should just go to tell you guys how big of a difference one year to the next was. I pieced it together because I really wanted you guys to see this look. I told you guys that I had a top three. This is definitely wiggling its way into one of those spots here. This whole look came from Fashion Nova. Um, the vest is called the Forever A Vibe Sherpa Vest. I ended up grabbing this in a size medium and you can see that it, it fits pretty good. It fits pretty good on me. It has some buttons up here. Does it have pockets? Oh, it does have pockets. I didn't care about any of that stuff because I never planned on using the buttons or a pocket. So it didn't matter to me. I did end up pairing it with this Sherpa hat that I ended up finding on Fashion Nova as well. This is a get right Sherpa hat. I knew the chances of me being able to fit this hat were very slim, okay? I have a very big head and do not comment in a green because I know, the Lord knows, we all know, we can see it. But I wanted it, so I got it. When I seen the vest and I seen the hat, I said, oh my God, it can't get any better. And then I seen these, I fell in love. These are the fur, the better booties in a size 11. Now, I will say these boots actually run pretty big. Like, these are too big on me. And I'm pretty certain I look back and I don't have a size 10. So, I'm just going to have to roll with the 11 because I'm not sending these back. I'm just not. But this together, a whole look. Only two things that I would change. If I could change anything about the two looks, the two things that I would have changed. One, I would I would actually wear a jumpsuit instead of piecing something together. Just because on the shoulder, you can see the off the shoulderness, and I didn't really like that. I would have definitely made it like a full body suit and not just a piece. The other thing that I would change is if I had a Sherpa purse. A little Sherpa bag would have probably set this off just right. But I did end up pairing it with the ivory bag that we've seen multiple times in this video. That bag actually came from Target. Um, it's one of my favorite bags, to be honest with you. And the longer, it comes with the shorter gold chain that's on there, but the longer gold chain is just something I grabbed off Amazon to just add a little bit more pizzazz to it. But overall, this look, though I did not have on a jumpsuit like I wanted, and also, although I did not have a Sherpa bag, and I cannot fit the hat, I'm starting to wonder why this is one of my favorite looks. Probably just because everything coordinated so well together. But overall, I definitely recommend, I think, this now. Y'all should just go grab this now, okay, before the video starts. I really hope you guys do love this set as much as I do. 
the last look that I ended up trying on is probably the epitome of what most of my fall what most of my fall looks honestly consist of or will consist of this season which will be a jumpsuit and a cardigan so the jumpsuit that I tried on in this video this is a part of the snatch collection and for some reason the material is just it's very inconsistent this is an amber snatch jumpsuit I got it in a size extra large obviously it's in the color black the jumpsuit put on with absolutely no issues whatsoever zipping it up had no issues whatsoever it is meant to be a high neck I did not wear it really high neckish on the video I actually stopped zipping it up just, just because it was so tight and it just made me a little bit uncomfortable so I didn't even fully zip it all the way up so I don't even know if you can tell or not whether it is a high neck jumpsuit or not I did move around a little bit in it just so it could loosen up a little bit more and I'm not gonna say I love the way it looked overall but I'm not gonna say I hated it either you'll be able to see me showing off how it should be cinching how it should be laying like this but instead it's laying like this so you'll be able to see it in the video I really do want to love the jumpsuit I don't know why but I just do I feel like a black jumpsuit is completely essential for the winter season and there are so many looks you can get with a plain black jumpsuit I'm telling you you put any Thing with it and it'll look good I need to find like a really good black long sleeve jumpsuit and then a black um, short sleeve jumpsuit if I'm not mistaken this does come in plus size as well there was some jumpsuit on Fashion Nova that was in the snatch collection I know it had like plus sizes so maybe I'll just try and size up and see if a 1x um, does me a little bit more justice I did like it but I would have just liked it better if it had fit a little bit better I ended up pairing it with this is the book smart boyfriend cardigan the bag and the shoe were completely influenced by this cardigan that i got from fashion nova as well now the same way i look for tinsel when i buy my jeans i look for this vice coast material and i know i talked about vice coast before but whenever i see vice coast or vice coast this coast however you pronounce it whenever i see it on cardigans i know to get it because i know it means heavy and this is nice and heavy it's heavy it's thick and it's soft that is what I absolutely adore about it. I did get this in a size medium. I know it was a bit oversized and I was okay with that. If I had sized up and got an extra large um, or even a large, I don't even think it would have gave me much more length. I like my cardigans to be a little bit longer. So I think if it had like more of a duster vibe to it, maybe I would have liked it a little bit more. I think if it, maybe if it had a little bit more length to it, it would have given it more duster vibes. Um, which would have made it just a little bit more fun and probably more likely to wear on multiple occasions. But it's okay. I still like the cardigan, to be honest. And the only thing I ended up doing was I wore it in the video unbuttoned, obviously. But I also buttoned a few on the bottom. And I ended up, like, pulling it back off my shoulders. And I really liked the way it looked. Overall, I most definitely recommend this cardigan, if nothing else. If you don't hear anything else I say, get this. I cannot wait to wear this. Can't wait to be in Hobby Lobby walking around with this cardigan on. Hopefully I have like a nice black jumpsuit to go with it by then, but I can't wait to wear this. This is a look. So I hope you guys really did enjoy this video. Hopefully you guys found an item or two or five that you really did absolutely adore. If you guys have any questions about anything, make sure you comment down below. I'll do my best to respond in a timely fashion. Let me know what was your favorite look overall. If you have not done so yet already, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell so you know whenever it is I post. And as always, I really do appreciate you guys' love and support. The views, the comments, the feedback. I enjoy it all. If you fell in love with any of these looks and you decide to go ahead and purchase and you maybe you post a video on your Insta, make sure you tag me or comment me or mention me something. Get my attention so I can share it. As always, treat everybody how you want to be treated. Make wonderful decisions and have an amazing day.